Hello, Brotherhood members, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. In the last episode, we went ahead and started improving the homestead here some. Now Achilles wanted to meet us, and I believe it's to talk about the ship here that's wrecked into the harbor. So let's go ahead and talk to him and see where we get to. Go away! Then go away, boy! Do you not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things, mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. All right. Well. <laughs> Let's head up to the house. <laughs> We've got a drunk there, so. I think at this point we'll start learning about how to run the homestead and basically start making profit off of it, which is a good thing. Because I do need money for things. And just selling furs and stuff isn't exactly the fastest way to get it. Though, I mean, it won't stop me from doing so. As I said, my thing is, if I'm just running along like I am now, and an animal's in front of me, I will go ahead and take care of it, so that way I get the money for the skin, or the fur. <sighs> there you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Alright, stockpile allows you to purchase items from the homesteaders and displays items you currently own. Alright, so oak lumber. We need three in the stockpile, and they are eight pounds each. We got 290. So let's go ahead and get three. All right, restocking soon. So that's taken care of. All right, land convoy at Homestead. Select the convoy. All right. So select a resource, we've got the lumber.
I didn't put the lumber in. Oh, all right, I did put it in. So we'll make 65 pounds in profit. And risk is 30%. Let's go ahead and send the convoy. Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would see me killed. All my work would be for nothing. Patience, restraint. These proved the most difficult subjects for me. But in time, I mastered them as well. Days became months. Months became years. And as my skills and knowledge grew, so too did I. All right. So, we can go. The ship is ready. There's an interactive conversation there. Go to the manor. I sort of want to look at the ledger personally. Alright, so we know some of the animals that are here. As I said, I want to go over to the manor. Also, Yes, I now have the ability to whistle for a horse, which is a nicety. That way I don't have to run everywhere. Now, I was only able to send wood on that first trip with the ledger. Notice how the house is already starting to improve, which is a good thing. So I need wood for it. Let's go ahead and craft the barrels. Then we're out of lumber. So I can purchase charcoal and oak bark. Right, let's purchase charcoal and oak bark and some wood. Alright, so the only thing I can craft is in their barrel here. Let's go ahead and do that. Then let's do a land convoy. That one's already traveling. So, can't do anything with the stuff I have for right now. But, will provide me some more money as time goes on. Now, if I remember correctly, land convoys are riskier than like when I get the sea ready and everything like that. So, I will want to get to that point. Let's go ahead and do the interactive conversation over here, and then we'll see about the ship. There we go.
All right, we'll leave the horse here. Sorry, I went with the direct route here. All right, let's see what they're wanting over here. You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is. On a river, with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried. But now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it. All right, so that conversation went all right, I guess. I don't really need anybody for anything. So we'll go ahead and head over to this conversation here. And I could call the horse over, but you know what? I'm just going to try to take a more direct path. And the horse would just slow me down. As I said, direct path. <laughs> There we are. Alright, so that's where we're wanting to go. Sell to Martha's Vineyard to equip the Aquila with cannon. Officers must also be hired to command the new guns. Do you want to start this naval mission? Yes, we'll go ahead and start the naval mission. Come aboard and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 no. Not the left foot. Never the left foot. Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. She is... solid? Aye. Weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch 12 knots in a stiff gale, near a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Show you what she can do first half. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. All in the mainsail! Get up the rigging! Hand over, fist! Come on, men! Let's get her out where she needs to be.
Come on, lad, no time like the present. Double time, boy, it's time you learned. Take the helm. Come on, come on, she won't bite. You're connected to her now. Listen and feel. She's idle. If you call for half sail, the men will hop to it and she'll pick up. Half sail! Half sail, men! Ah! Your killer flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water, for we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail, if you like. I'll go ahead and open her up here. Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Dusty winds can be difficult to manage. Now, take us through these shallows. Careful not to run up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more maneuverable then. All right, so it changed where we're going, which is sort of annoying because I was thinking we were coming over here. other vessels hold your tack to keep your right of way the view is slightly different than it is in black flag from what I remember and it's a bit harder to see things here but we'll make her work Still a lovely view. Nice shipwreck over there. Cottages. We're close. All right. Go ashore, buy our guns, and find our officers. Definitely a different mechanic than in Black Flag there for docking, but that's all right. Oh, hello, Miss Mandy. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. 
After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you, too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> a good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles Lee? I don't much care for your tone. Hey, you don't want to be doing that, Biddle. Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in here, gentlemen. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out! Let's go, boys. Our guns ought to be ready. Come on. Some really nice looking guns. was that about? The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the Crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spot of target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Round shot for a start! Well done, boy! Now. Aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Some old powder in there! Good! Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Provided something interests me. Ah, getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Shooting at us. Destroying property of the crown, disturbing the king's peace. Take your pick. What do we do? Naught else but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Use the English frigate! 
Oh, BB Twattles, another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? <laughs> now I did brace, it didn't count it, but that's fine. I'm not worried about the optional objectives, as I said. I just enjoy blowing things up and taking care of business here. I got them! All of them! You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship, could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really, but he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. All right, let's talk to Peg Leg here real fast. Weeks. Oh no, and not even a goodbye before you left. Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? Put them on. Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training, your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. All right, so we're on to memory sequence six. So now I can purchase things that I want, like weapons and such. Welcome back, Desmond. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. Have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Despite
disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. If only they knew. What's this? A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is gonna get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Hoping to end this episode here soon, but I guess we'll have to see. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and end things here. In the next episode, we'll take care of business here as Desmond. But for now, if you liked what I did in this episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Assassin's Creed 3.